For today's art project, we're gonna be making some alphabet soup. This is a great way to practice our letters and use lots of different materials like markers, crayons, even a little bit of collage. So let's get to the project. This project is a mixed media artwork. That means you'll be using lots of different materials. If you wanna follow along with me, here's a list of things you'll need. Markers and a little bit of water to turn it into paint, crayons, something round to trace for your bowl, and another paper to glue on for the napkin, and a glue stick, oh, and a pair of scissors. If you just wanna draw the whole thing and skip the painting part, you can, but this is pretty fun. So pause the video right now and go get yourself those supplies. I'll be right here when you come back. Do, 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 do. Okay, welcome back. The first thing you need to do is find something round to be the circle for your bowl of soup. I like different lids for like Tupperware or cream cheese or something. You can also trace a real plate or bowl, but it's gotta be small enough that it doesn't take up too much room. In the end, I picked this one and I'm putting it on one side of my page so that there's enough room on the other side for my napkin. I'm pushing my pencil all the way around and trying to stay really close to the edge and voila, a circle. Next, I'm gonna draw a smaller circle on the inside where my soup is going to be. It does not have to be perfect at all. Just try to stay pretty close to the edge because your soup can be kind of slopping over the edge. And then, I know this is wacky, but I'm gonna actually just leave the top right there for my next step, which is a fancy tablecloth. You need two colors of marker, any two that you like. Now we're gonna make a fancy plaid tablecloth. You've seen plaid before. We live in upstate New York. You might probably have a plaid shirt. So you're gonna draw some lines that go straight across. I like to make two that are right next to each other. Leave a little space and then make two more that are right next to each other. I'm leaving this lid here so that I don't accidentally draw inside my bowl of soup. So you're gonna fill up your paper with your horizontal lines. Now take a look at this plaid shirt I'm wearing. There are lines that go across and lines that go up and down. So our next job is to draw the vertical lines. Start on one side of the paper, go down, and when you get to your lid, just hop over. Again, we're just trying to make sure that we don't accidentally draw inside our soup. Ta-da! Our bowl is nice and clean. If you got a little marker on it, don't worry about it. Now here's that fun mixed media part. Take a little bit of water and a paintbrush if you have it. If not, you can use your finger and just trace over those lines that we drew with washable marker. And see how it's turning into paint? It lends kind of an extra special feeling to our tablecloth. Now you can put your markers away, take out your crayons, and we are going to make our alphabet soup. I wrote down all the letters here in case you forget how to draw one. And let's start with the letter A. Find a spot in your bowl and write it nice and hard with crayon. Keep going for B, C, D. You can use any colors you want. Let's fit the whole alphabet in there. Sometimes I like to sing the song to help me remember. L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, and if you have to make these kind of small, that's okay. W, X, Y, Z, woohoo! Now this is kind of fun. If you have extra space, you can even hide secret messages inside, like hello or banana or your name. You can add peas or carrots or something silly. And then I like to trace my pencil lines so that you can really see that bowl. Next, your job is to color the inside of the bowl for the soup. You can either use your crayons, or if you feel like using that marker and water trick again, that works too. So fill in that inner circle and try to leave the outer circle empty. Although you can see I got it a little bit messy. 
and that's okay. I'm a messy eater. All right, you're almost done. Now you need a napkin. This paper is way too big, so I'm gonna cut a smaller rectangle to make a napkin. And you can be very creative with this napkin. You can use a piece of paper with a fancy design on it. You can use colored construction paper. You can even glue a real napkin if you want to. That could be pretty fun. But if your paper is really wet, it's okay, you might need to let it dry. I'm gonna put some glue on the back. I've got a little dot here because this was some scrap paper, but we're gonna glue it down right over here. Make sure it's down nice and secure. All right, we got our napkin. If you want, you could draw a fancy design on it or something. You could draw, I don't know, flowers. There are all kinds of fancy napkins out there, right? But you don't have to decorate it at all. It can just be plain and white. And what you really, really, really need to eat soup is, wait for it, a spoon. I'm gonna draw an oval. I'm gonna draw a long shape. I might even go off my napkin. And then I'm gonna just color it in so that it looks a little bit silver or gray. Now there's one last thing you can do if you want to be super fancy. Using, e using a crayon or a marker, take a little bit of a dark color and you can make a shadow. I'm going to pick just one side of the bowl and color really lightly like this. And it looks like now the soup is sitting on top of the placemat. It's not so cool. This ripped a little bit because my paper was so wet, but that's okay. I can put some tape on the back. Same with my napkin. I'm gonna push like this. And push like that. And we have a little bit of a shadow. Maybe I'll outline my napkin because it is a little hard to see. All done. Makes me hungry.